That's why you wanted to see me? To say goodbye? I'm going to be doing some prison time, Annie. Goodbye as part of the equation. But is it... Are you saying goodbye to us? I got the documents you need to look over. Great. Uh, we can discuss it later. There's not much to discuss, but thank you. Who, who is that? My lawyer. But the company will provide you with a lawyer. No, I'm doing this on my own. It's taking care of a couple of things for me, including our divorce. I need to know if Scott has said anything to the feds about me. No, I can't worry about that right now. My son is safe. Your son is safe. Because he's out of this house. If it's so dangerous, maybe it's a mistake for you to be here. Ryan, I will do everything I can to make sure that you don't have to make a decision like that. What's going on? I know that look. Ryan, I have a word. How you doing? Court's in recess? I'm fine. Yeah. Um, excuse me. All rise. This court's now in session. Honorable Judge Miriam Cressman. Be seated. Uh, Ms. Colby, would you please call your first witness? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I would like to call Dr. Jake Martin to the stand. All right, so how bad is it? What did I miss? Eliza's opening statement made Greenlee look guilty as hell. How's her witness doing? He's a pain in the ass. He's got me on a DVD run even as we speak, because it turns out old Nick's not exactly into family entertainment. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Uh, well, just as long as he stays put until we need him. Once he, test once he testifies that he heard me say someone is going to die tonight, like a half an hour before Hayward keeled over, that'll be more than enough reasonable doubt to get Greenlee acquitted. It'll be more than enough to get you the chair. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. So, uh, Dr. Martin, are you glad that David Hayward is dead? What was that all about? Ted and I have a lot of casino business to discuss. You're taking time away from Greenlee's murder trial to discuss casino security? Actually, I was about to head right back in. No, so. no, not until you tell me what is going on. Why do you think something is going on? Because you're giving me that half nonchalant, half patronizing look. And, and then Tad left here looking really worried. So I, I don't want to hear another excuse, Ryan, because we know there's only one thing on your mind right now. Getting greatly an innocent verdict. Is, isn't, isn't that what we all want? But we all aren't willing to confess just to save her. I wasn't a fan of David's, but I'm a doctor and I'm trained to save lives. When David collapsed at the party, you were among the first to decide? Yes, I was. And what did you observe? Well, when I first uh, got to him, there was no breath and there was no pulse. I tried to revive him, but he was already deceased. And what did you believe to be the cause of death at that time? From a, a cursory exam, the contusion suggested that he could have died from severe blows in a fight. While you were examining him, was uh, Mrs. Hayward there? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what was her reaction? Well, she was obviously uh, very upset. Her husband just died. She was upset. 
She was upset. I mean, what, was she crying? Did she did she throw herself over the body? Objection. Withdrawn. Uh, so, what happened next? Well, uh, David was transported to PBH. And I assume that uh, Greenlee was in the ambulance with him while he was getting transported? No. Dr. Martin? Yeah, no. No. Well, then someone gave her a ride to the hospital? I don't know. Okay, well, how long after David's body showed up at the hospital did Greenlee arrive? I'm not really... I don't know. I mean, was it right away? Uh, no. So Greenlee's husband was just murdered and she had something better to do than be by his side? Objection. Sustained. Miss Colby, watch your tone. So, when, when Greenlee did arrive at the hospital, did she say where she'd been or who she'd been with? What I'm trying to figure out is what Tad's involvement is in all of this. Unless he's giving you some bit of evidence you can use to convince the jury that you're not making up your confession. That is a, that's a great story. You know, you, something you should save for your next novel, all right? Well, you're not denying it, so obviously I'm onto something. What are you doing here? What are, you, are you trying to upset Greenlee? Do you know what she's going through in there? Me? Upset her? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what it'll do to her if you confess? <sighs> just don't tell her any of this, okay? Please. That's great, Ryan. More please. Secrets. No, just, great. just, just, just relax. Just calm down and no, let me handle this, no. please. No, I'm sick of all this crap. You want to save Greenlee, and she wants to save you, and once again, I'm stuck right in the damn middle of it. So now I'm supposed to choose between my best friend and the father of my son. Who would I rather see in jail? It's over, Annie. It never even started. How can you say that? I married you because I love you. You loved the idea of us. And that's not true. You saw the life that you wanted for you and Emma, and you went no, for it. No, no. You mean so much to me. Your honesty and your your kindness and Annie, your passion. Annie, it is time for the lies it's, to it's stop. It's not a lie. Okay, okay, a reality check then. You and Jr. Oh, I, I do not. I do not want to talk about Jr. You and I, we should have never happened. Because to make it work, we'd have to lie to ourselves about who we are and what we want. I am done with that. That is why I confessed. That is why I am in here. I need a fresh start, and so do you. Okay, okay, so we'll have a fresh start together. What, in prison? You need to think about what's next for you and Emma. What's next? Yes. And I'll tell you what the first step is, okay? Now you listen to me. You go home, you pack your things, and you get out of that house. Are you really telling me to walk away? No, I am telling you to run. I'm telling you to run as fast and as far as you can from this screwed up family. It is your only chance. Are you threatening me? You took my son from me. It's a temporary court order. One day is too many. Yeah, too many to be here. With everything that's going on, did you have something to do with Scott being arrested? Oh, no. He stole Uncle Palmer's technology all by himself, and he confessed all by himself. Well, is he all right? He's in jail where he belongs. <gasps> Poor Scott. What the hell with Scott? You have no right to keep AJ out of this house and then send Caleb over here to break the news to He's me? He's my attorney. I had another, but you stole him out from under So me. you stole my son. Our son. Caleb doesn't care about AJ. He doesn't care about you. He's after one thing. Getting his company back and doing as much damage to Chandler as possible. <laughs> Always the same with you. Everything is about you, your company. But just look at the trail of self-destruction. Our marriage, Scott, AJ, has to come first. Yeah, you better believe I will do everything I can to get him back. Yeah, except for keep your hands off of Annie. Oh, I see. Payback. Uh, I am protecting AJ. No. This is personal. You know it. I miss my son. AJ misses you too. I know how important he is to you. But I have also learned that when you love something and feel threatened, you hold on even tighter. That's why I've been afraid that one of these days I'm going to come to pick up AJ and the gates will be locked. 
What's this difference between you and me? I would never do that. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you said that you'd never cheat on me either. <laughs> Let's face it, JR, your idea of love is control. You can't stand to lose. Right now, you're losing everything. I will not lose to you, and I will not lose to Caleb. Oh, because you'll just keep on fighting? That's right. Fight to save this company. The company and this family. Well, if you're so high on family, are you planning on helping Scott? He's beyond help. The paper says that Scott confessed to acting alone when he stole Palmer's idea. Are you accusing me of something? No. Did Caleb send you over here to poke around? Or maybe you just can't accept the fact that Scott is not the sweet, clean guy that he claimed to be. So what happens to you now? What happens to your beloved Chandler? You leveraged the hell out of the company to buy Cortland. Scott leveraged it, and I'll be fine. You could lose Cortland. The whole company could start taking on water. And that makes you happy, doesn't it? No, of course not. That's AJ's inheritance. So you can call me selfish, you can call me a monster, go right ahead. But I'm the only person that seems to care for his future, and I will do whatever it takes to secure it. You and Caleb AJ's get in my way. future is about more than power and money. Is yours? Marissa, wait. No, I am done. You heard? Yeah. I certainly hope that's not your idea of winning her back. Because if it is, your technique sucks. Annie, stop this. See the truth. That place is poison. Get out. Get out now. Both for your sake and for your Where daughters. am I supposed to go, Scott? I don't have any money. Everything's frozen. Hey, I didn't say it was going to be easy. But Annie, this is your last chance to break free. Take it. Time's up, Mrs. Chandler. You are the last person in the world I wanted to hurt. And you are the only real person that understood me and you have given me so much. I am so, so sorry. I, I wish there was something I could do to make it up to you. If you mean that, you'll do what I say. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll leave the house. Nobody is asking you to choose which one of us goes to jail, okay? Okay, well, what would you call it? I could let you go along with your plan and throw your life away, or I can tell Greenlee about your plan so that she can stop you and send herself to prison. That's a wonderful choice. Great choice. Okay, the, the goal is that neither of us go to prison, okay? And if you just keep quiet about no. this, then... Oh, my God, I am so sick and tired of keeping all these secrets. I want to march in there right now and tell Jesse and Liza and anyone who will listen everything I know about everything. I just want to get it all out in the open and let the chips fall where they may. Maybe then you and Greenlee can finally be honest with each other and stop torturing all of us. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Back up. What is Greenlee not being honest about with me? What is your take on Greenlee's marriage to the deceased? My take? You were against it from the start, weren't you? Yes. Because you felt that he was manipulating her, correct? Well, David saved Greenlee's life. But sometimes people confuse gratitude with love. Yes, but Greenlee became unconfused. She wanted out of the marriage. I don't know that for sure. She was desperate. Your Honor. Sustained. Sorry again. You don't believe that Greenlee ever loved the deceased, especially not at the end, correct? Objection! Withdrawn. No further questions? You know, I should thank the DA for bringing up a very important point here, and that is your relationship with Dr. Hayward. The acrimony, the desperation, the rage. But I don't think the DA went far enough. 